Hello, and welcome to the Little Bit of Lucy podcast. This is the podcast where my sister Lucy has been awake for a very, very long time. It's currently 12.51 a.m. on a Monday morning, and she is now going to try and coherently make it through 45 minutes of podcast. Good luck. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome to the podcast, you guys. Episode one. Episode one. Pretty great. Pretty great. My lips are really chapped. Now, my role here is just to guide. Um, so today we did some interesting things. Actually, not a lot of interesting things. But we played Uno, and we played Sorry, and we watched Soul. We're gonna talk For the about first time. A, we're going to talk about a whole lot of things today. Uh, it's just, just a whole mess of things. You um, guys, um, so uh, the camera hasn't seen it yet, but I cut my hair, so I have curtain bangs, and I have black hair now. Yeah, but the camera would have already seen it by the time this podcast comes out, because we're even live streaming, man. Yeah, we're going to be streaming. And guess what? On Wednesday, I have an appointment to get contacts. Oh, do you? It's quite fun, yes, because basketball and my glasses get knocked off my face all the time. Well, there you go. And, yeah, quite fun. I don't do well with staying up. Um, um, I... I should, I should give you, uh, the listener a bit of background... When Barbara stays up very late at night, she begins to become incoherent, as if she's on some kind of hallucinatory drug. Um, for example, one time, when, hey. we, when we were quite young, she had stayed up until about midnight, which was especially late when she was a child, but it's still late now, considering she... Um, I usually go to bed at, like, 9.30. Goes to bed 10. at, like, 9.30. Um, 10 o'clock at the, at the latest. But, but when we were kids, there was an incident... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she knows it. We were playing Wii Sports. <laughs> oh my gosh! And when you're playing uh, golf in Wii Sports, uh, there's the, there's out of bounds. There's well, rough, it's just like there's you know, r- fairway, real golf. Yeah. Then there's green, and then there's edge of green. Yeah. So there's like a little strip along the green area, and most things just consider that the green, but for some reason, Wii Sports considers it a special area called. <laughs> edge of green and when we were playing we sports that fateful night barbara hit the golf ball and it landed on edge of green and for some reason that did it she was laughing so hard for the whole night she's laughing now just thinking about it and then isaac was like isaac was like puppies drowning on a beach well, and because I, she, he... she was laughing at every single thing and i'm like this is a, a little, you know, out of control. So, um, on, we have two monitors on our computer, um, and one of them is constantly showing a slideshow of old baby pictures of us as children and toddlers. Um, Sp- specifically the two of us. We yeah. have, we have three siblings, and they're not on here. Oh, they're not L- on Lillian, here. Lillian, Lillian's Penny's on, not on here. here at all. Mary's Ma- Mary's not on here at all. She's on here like once or twice. But it's really just pictures. It's mainly of just the three us. Of us. Um, and sometimes Lily, mostly, li- but mostly like Lillian as a baby child. Um, I guess they just stopped uploading the pictures after her. I don't know. Well, Mama got Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah, um, that did it. Like her first picture on Facebook is Mary. Uh, her birth that one birthday where we had zebra cakes. Oh, I love that was her first birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Man, and eight years ago. That was, um, I looked terrified, man. Hard. There. She may so she may occasionally comment on these pictures. You can't yeah, see them. You can't see them, but just trust me. Isaac's putting his arm over my head and he's smiling, and we're laying on the ground. For, and for I reference, look so bad. Like, at, no, at maximum, I look so I'm scared. two years old in this picture. I'm a baby child. Um. And I looked, I looked so scared, like he's gonna kill me. Okay. Um. Anyways, so today. Uh, yeah, I have a few topics in mind. Do you have any topics in mind well, that you would I like to, to, to go on talking. first? There we go. Um. Anyways, I, I, you didn't let me finish my thought. Oh, sorry. Go um, ahead. 
If you know me, you know that I cannot stay up for the life of me. And when I do, I get a little, like, I act like I'm on drugs. Yes, we've been over this. What are you doing? She's, she's feeling her collar. What? My drawstring is gone. What happened to the drawstring in your hoodie? <gasps> it's a moment enter. Uh-oh, how did that happen? I don't know. I saw it. I only saw it on the entertainment center. Well, and I was like, oh, there's a string in there. No, I know it's, it's the drawstring. Okay, well, Mom and Dad are sleeping, so you'll have to go do that tomorrow or something. But no. What? I'm sorry. She's getting overly distressed about this. I anyway. Know. This is my favorite sweatshirt, and I really like it because one, it's my favorite sweatshirt, and two, <laughs> it has a drawstring it's that I favorite. can hide my face in. It's my and favorite sweatshirt, and I love how it because I it's sleep my favorite. In, okay, how I sleep at night. I have a sleeping cap I have on um, for reasons I'm not going to go into, but also because I just feel cleaner, I guess, not getting my sheets dirty. Um, not mostly, but partly because I feel cleaner not getting my sheets dirty. Um, and so it likes to fall off at night because I'm not, I'm a very heavy sleeper. I mean, not heavy, but I'm very, um, wild when I, like, I roll around and I do barrel rolls and stuff. Um, so I wear a hoodie at night, um, especially in the wintertime. Um, not mostly in the summertime. In the summertime will probably just stay still. I've learned to train myself to stay still, but in the wintertime, I just don't freaking care. Um, so... Are you going oh, somewhere with this? No, yeah. <laughs> so I put my hood up over the sleeping cap, and I tie my drawstring so that my sleeping cap doesn't fall off. But guess what's not on my hoodie right now? My freaking drawstring! I don't know if that's even... that's. I know it's what it's called for pants, but it's not what it's called for a hoodie. I, I, I just call them the hoodie strings. Okay, um... Anyways, yeah. I, <laughs> I kept, I keep, okay, yeah. I, I seem like I'm on drugs, okay? She's um, not. I I'm not promise. on drugs. I promise I'm not on drugs. I'm just tired. Um, and it's really late. I usually, we usually stay up this late, but for some reason my body's just never used to it. Never. And, um, last night I had, like, the best sleep I, that I've had in months, <laughs> since August. Like. You've been keeping track. I haven't been able to sleep since, like, August. I've been waking up every hour and couldn't go back to sleep for, like, 20 minutes. Like, Isaac has for, like, his whole entire life. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he lives like that, by the way. I fall asleep in class, like, almost... Oh, I've I probably never, shouldn't say that. I've, I've never fallen asleep I in I fall class. asleep in class, like, once every week. I am a model student. Um, but I get anyway, straight Anyway, were, so. were you going somewhere? Yeah, um, what was I talking about? I don't, I don't know. You had a discussion topic, I guess. I have... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. so today, um, we were playing Sorry and Uno. Oh, no, it was just Uno. No, we played Sorry as No, well. I know, but this story only involves Uno, not Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you It's, it's the picture that showed up on the second monitor. She's staring right at it. It once again it's a picture where I'm approximately two years old and she is just a tiny baby. <laughs> and I look so scared. Oh my gosh. I always look scared as a child. Okay. Just just okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I get a little out of hand. Alright. We're playing uh Uno. We spent and for whatever reason for whatever reason, I laughed so hard at every little thing. Oh yeah. Like our sister Penelope started making donkey noises yeah i don't know what that was about and so i don't know um and then we started singing a song from descendants 2 and for whatever reason i thought that was the most hilarious thing yeah, ever but you didn't laugh when we sang moana during wii sports no because at that point i was just like tired man right tired man um i also laughed really hard when mary accidentally got a caffeine drink instead of a normal drink Mar for reference mary's not allowed to have caffeine uh because it makes her hyper and off the walls but this was also at like 7 30 at night yeah so she's very much not going to have any sugar or caffeine and i late. so i drink it um, so she drank the drink instead barbara did which really is addict. making her step okay um anyways i was just laughing really hard can we lead into yeah, my, yeah, into yeah, my yeah. first thing. Um, 
that's what it is, actually. Really? Yeah. We watched so. Shaun the Sheep the other night, and I cried. Yeah. Do you want to tell them about Shaun the Sheep? Bar. Okay. okay the other so day sure. we were. Um, I have been really emotional lately. Okay. So I've been crying like every day, <laughs> multiple times a day. I I don't know what's wrong with me, but I've just been crying a lot. Let so me, let me tell you what's happening. Every little thing happening. gets me choked up, man. She's got to explain I almost this. I started like tearing up when my drawstring wasn't in my hoodie. Are you kidding me? Just then. I started tearing up, man. Okay, so um, we have a, a Roku smart TV uh, in the living room, and one of the channels on there is, uh, what is it, Pluto TV, yes. and it's, um, it can, like, we have an antenna on our roof still, and it, like... No, it's, it just... It does it, I thought it went through the antenna. I don't think so. Oh, uh, well, basically, it, it's live TV, and one of the channels is, like, a kid's cartoon channel, and we scrolled through channels for a solid 15 minutes. I wanted to watch basketball, but he said no. Well, we weren't sure what to watch, and so eventually we settled on Shaun the Sheep, and Barbara's like, I don't want to watch Shaun the Sheep, and now she has a strong emotional attachment to Shaun the Sheep, which she will now explain. So, listen, guys. It may sound stupid, okay, that I cried over Shaun the Sheep the movie, Okay. But we didn't elaborate on that. It is the movie. It is the movie. The, not o- the first movie, not the, se- not the sequel. Not the sequel. Well, we have not seen the sequel. Uh, no, we have not. But we need to watch that. The Shaun the Sheep, the first movie. Um, the seen. first movie, we have seen that. Um, the we- That's when we watched. And it may sound silly that I cried over it, because it is a children's movie. But listen, it got me, okay? I... Well, tell, tell them a bit about the, the movie. So... Sean the sheep is just a normal little sheep that's a little mischievous, okay? And he likes messing with his farmer, okay? But one day, um, I'm trying to remember. I well, okay, so what? No what, one, no. Um, no, here's what happened. Um, no, <gasps> yeah. Okay. One day, they something happens. He's in his trailer. And it rolls down the hill. They're trying to stop it, but it just keeps rolling and rolling. Then he gets knocked out, and he's in the hospital with amnesia. He forgets everything, okay? So, and they've spent, Sean the at Sheep... At this point, they've spent a good chunk of the movie um, with the sheep and the farmer and the dog. And, you yeah, know, and they just their backstory the, and their, their relationship. Their life, yeah. Um, and so, at first, when they're gone, they're like, hey, throw a party, but then he doesn't come back. And they're, like, getting a little worried. So, Sean the Sheep, um, I should just call him Sean, we're on that first name basis. Um, Sean, he just, like, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. I, yeah. 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 He, okay. Sean goes and sneaks onto a bus and goes to the city looking for him. Oh, and the, um, okay, just, um. Okay. And he's making a missing <laughs> sign. Um, so when he gets there, he looks, he's like, oh, this is kind of scary and busy. And then he's like, sit, and then he sees the animal control guy. Because he's capturing the stray dog in the most evil way. And the stray dog is just like, oh, oh, oh. It's so sad. And then another bus comes in, and you will never believe who's in it. The baby sheep. And then the baby sheep. We learned today who? that the baby sheep's name is Timmy. His name is Timmy. Yeah. Um, from Timmy Time. From Timmy Time. He has the spin off. Um, of Sean the Sheep the show. Um, yeah. And then guess what pops up after? All the rest of the sheep. Yeah, they follow. Him. Oh, and yeah, the dog um went in looking for the farmer, anyways. Yeah. And the dog found out that he was in the hospital, and so he tried to check into the hospital. But there's a strict no dogs allowed policy, which yeah. is such a shame. Yeah. Um. So they go on this wild goose chase for this farmer, avoiding the animal control because um they're scared of him. As I mean, an animal, animal would be. control guy was pretty scary. He was pretty scary. I was pretty scared of him. It was, you know. So they make these, they go to this thrift store and steal these costumes, the sheep do, and they make themselves look like normal people, except they don't look like normal people. Well, but, you know, in the, in the but world. But someone, also, mm-hmm. there's no words in this movie, just grunting noises. Yeah, it's great. So it's very hard to know what's going on. No, it's pretty easy to know context. what's going on. You know, and it's, it's, physical, it's very different. Physical very comedy, physical storytelling. Uh, um, they didn't. They didn't need dialogue or any of that fancy. No, nonsense. they didn't. Um, and so, um, the farmer escapes the hospital. 
not because he like wants to but because he just is bored of it so he just like leaves the hospital because why not he doesn't know where he's at so he just leaves the hospital and goes around um and as they're looking they're just looking for him a lot the sheep are looking for him and he's just he's just wandering around town i think they pass him a couple times without even noticing um well because he has a bandage on his head yeah and he can't see and he's not really wearing farmer clothes no he's wearing a hospital gown um and so he goes into this barber shop the farmer the farmer not sean the sheep the farmer goes into this barber shop and they're like sir what are you doing here uh who's your family blah 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 and so like oh call the police and they're like okay but then he starts um he grabs um a client and something Pre- presumably a very rich client yes and yes yes he's very famous um and cuz people were taking his pictures and stuff like through the windows and he was like <laughs> i'm fancy or whatever yeah okay That's- yeah. You couldn't see it, but I did a hair flip. It's essential to it's, the whole story. To the, um, yeah, the mood of it, at least. Um, and so he grabs him, like in a headlock. Something comes to him from shaving, from shaving the sheep, and he just goes at his head. And they're like, huh? And, and then what? once he's done, he what has is this, this mad like, man doing? He has this fresh cut, and... They're like, oh, and he and the super guy, the the fancy guy is just like, oh, I love it, and then it comes a trend, and they hire him to do that cut on everyone, and he's like, huh, what am I? I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. I'm just doing what my body tells me to, what my heart is telling me to do. That's what he's doing. Um, and so Sean and the sheep are getting real beat up. And so is, T- and Timmy is getting a little cranky, okay? He's just a baby little sheep. What are baby sheep called? Lambs. He's just a lamb. Okay? He's just a little one. Just a and little lamb he, he doesn't even for Mary. Not even his teddy bear will make, he miss, he's missing Farmer Joe, okay? Misses, farmer Mama. He's missing he's Farmer Mama. He's missing Farmer Mama. Hey, that's a deep cut for the channel. If you watched my farming sim, um, it's not actually a very deep cut. No. <laughs> But he's missing his farmer, okay? Um, and not even his teddy bear will make him happier. Mm-hmm. But, gosh darn it, he's going to try. Sean is going to um, um, not show that he's feeling upset, too, and try. He's the most determined sheep there he's gonna ever tr- be. He's going to try to make Timmy feel better. And so they, and so he plays the radio. He finds this, he finds this radio in his, um little sack that he brought with him um and he, so he's like oh, i'm gonna play the radio actually i think he plays it on accident and then the baby's like oh, uh, timmy is like that and then sean screws it up and the tape like falls to pieces what is it called i don't know gets destroyed um, on its own but still destroyed and so timmy's sad but then the other sheep chip in and they start singing the song and so before you know it it's just this big old choir i don't know something of, sh- of sheep a sheep yeah they're just singing and they're harmonizing and they're doing good and timmy's pretty happy so timmy's a happy boy but sean is pretty upset he's pretty darn upset but you know who they find the stray dog no no you're you're forgetting a big part about the singing the choir scene the farmer hears them. Oh yeah, the farmer hears them in his barber shop. And he's starting and to he's like, he's, he's like, like hmm, hmm, that's a nice little jam there. Yeah. Um, he's like, hmm, I feel like I've heard that before. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, like must a have villager. Been the wind. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So they decide to go out and find him again. Um, and so they are going in. So Sean finds him. No, the stray dog is like hey i know where you need to go so he takes him to a billboard of the farmer because he's a famous barber now wow okay just picture okay and so because he cut the famous guy's hair i mean he has to be famous now well he's very good at his he's job very good because he just shaves sheep that's all he does he's a sheep's farmer um and pigs and dogs well he doesn't farm the dogs but 
I okay. Anyways, very much hope that he does not farm the dogs. Anyways, dogs are not farm, like not for farming. <laughs> what would you gain from farming dogs? A an obedient dog, unlike ours. So wait. Shh. <laughs> this is not called Little Bit of Isaac, Isaac. So. Oh yeah. And so they go to his. Um, they go on an elaborate trip through tunnels and slides and everything when they probably could have just walked there in an easier way. But, you know, it's more fun this way. But they they find the farmer and Sean walks in and he's like, Farmer! Like thinking that he's going to know him. But if you remember, he lost his memory. So he doesn't remember. And then Sean starts crying. And he's like, get away from me. And he's scared of Sean. And then they're like, call animal control. So they call animal control. And Sean's crying. And he's trying to rem make crying. him remember. Timmy's crying. And so the dog comes in. Not the stray dog. The friend dog. And he's like, come on, we gotta go. They're calling animal control. And he's like, but farmer. And then they're... They gotta leave. They gotta leave. So they're out of there. They're out of there. Um, I can't remember how they get caught by the... By the animal control? Mm -hmm. They just kind of, like, get cornered, I think. Yeah, I think he... No, because they shed. It, they they're shed. Still, they're, they're cotton. They're still wearing their disguises for most of this. Yeah. Um, there was a scene in, like, a restaurant or, like, but, a diner or something. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's when Sean gets um, captured. Um... So, Sean gets captured after the dog friend gets captured, um, and the stray dog gets captured, and so they're all in the pound together, and no one wants them, and everyone's mean to them, they just want to be loved, and so they have to come up with this elaborate plan to escape, um, and so they come up with this elaborate plan, I'm not sure, oh yes, because the, some of the sheep's they're dressed up like a lady, and the... Animal control guy? Yeah, the animal control guy has yeah. a crush on her. Yeah. Um, he's like, ooh, you're pretty, except he she go, he can only see her eyes. But you're right, because it's actually two sheep and a trench coat. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of weird if you think about it. Um, anyways. He didn't know. So, while well, he distracts... Th those sheeps distract the animal control guy while the other sheeps try and make them get out but they rip a hole out of the wrong building so they gotta go back and then then the animal control guy sees through the cameras sheeps and he's like huh and so they run away but then sean and the dog draw <laughs> a outside with chalk on the wall so he thinks that the outs there's an outside wall and sean and the dog hide the classic looney tunes game so they grab his keys unlock the door then lock the door while he's hurting his head because he got knocked out not knocked out but he ran into the wall um and then they get the dog out and then they're all um getting out and having fun and the animal control guy is um locked in the cell um so they um knock out the farmer and then they carry him home no they put him to sleep they don't knock him out same thing but still um and They built this contraption, um, this horse that they will control with their um, bodies. And they'll put the farmer on. So they put the farmer on this guy, and the um, animal control guy is trying to, t um, trying to um, talk to the farmer about the sheep that he hasn't seen. <laughs> Like, he just lost them. He, they escaped. And so... Sean... I mean, Sean is trying to 
and make him talk. But then he falls into, and his face goes into the horse's butthole, okay? <laughs> it's like a little opening right at the butthole. And he sees all the sheeps. No, because there's cotton coming out from underneath the horse, like the stuff that they were, that was um there already. And so he was like, huh? So now he's like, no, uh And then they're, having, they're just trying to get him away. But he keeps staying. But then they um, knock him out. Then they put the guy. Then they get the trailer. They get in the trailer that he originally came down in. The trailer, you know. Um, and so once they're in the trailer, they're like getting somewhere. They're getting the momentum to go back to the farm. And so they're back. In the f- they're getting back in the farm. Um, they're back in the farm, and they lock themselves in the shed. Um, um, and then the far- then the animal control guy wraps up the shed in caution tape and gets a little plow thing, I don't know what they're called, and rolls them to a trench. And they're scared for their lives because they can't do anything anymore. And the farmer wakes up and he realizes that he's a farmer to these sheep and this dog and those pigs. Um, and so he stops the farmer. No, he stops the animal control guy along with the sheeps. Um, and they win the day. And it, there's a very heartwarming ending because the farmer remembers the sheeps. That's what I just said. I know. I'm just reiterating. Anyways. It's a very good movie. Is that all for your Sean the Sheep talk? Yep. Okay. Oh, um, also, wait. They were going to get him in the house, and the pigs saw him. They were throwing a party, and they saw him through the window because they thought they were at, he was actually, like, alive and, like, uh, conscious. So they started cleaning up, and it was kind of funny. Okay, anyways. Okay, so, Barbara, are you familiar with the wonderful world of Yahoo Answers? Yeah. Do you know that there are some very strange questions on there? Okay. I found some three very, very funny questions on Yahoo Answers that I'm going to read for you now. This is not a regular segment, just something funny that I I wanted to do for this time. So here's the first one. Uh, and and I am reading them in order of how funny they are. So the third one is going to be the best one. Okay. Uh, is it possible to die from putting your face under the cover blankets at night until the next morning? Possibly. You could suffocate. And the the first... This one has two answers. But I mean, if you don't want to get the monsters... I only, I only you, saved one answer, and it's extremely unlikely. No, but it is possible. But, um... I suppose if you had no natural instincts. Okay, here's the second one. What do you say your girlfriend when she's crying? Here's the reason this one makes me laugh. If you have to look that up, then you shouldn't have a girlfriend. No, here's why this makes me laugh. Because his girlfriend started crying and he's like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. So he goes to Yahoo Answers and types in Yahoo Answers. Yeah, um, if your girlfriend's crying, comfort her. Say what, that what do you say your girlfriend when she's crying? That's a whole different question. <laughs> um, what do you say your girlfriend? And that that is the proper your uh, in the in terms of your girlfriend. Uh, are, are you ready for the last? One? This mm, one made sure. me laugh audibly when I read it. The the headline. Th- these have all been headlines, but this one has a headline and then it has an actual like elaboration on the question. The headline is, Minecraft Hero Brian. And Hero Brian is two words, so you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Hero Brian. Okay. Here, here it is. Me and my cousin stayed up playing Minecraft on Xbox One. We were just playing like normal, and my cousin said she was being chased by Hero Brian. Of course, I didn't believe him because I've watched what? videos. <laughs> <It> was gender <laughs> Well, uh, she was being chased, but of course I didn't believe him. <laughs> because I've watched videos on him before, and they're all fake. And that's their T-H-E-R-E. 
Okay. They're all fake, but it said he was killed by Hero O'Brien, so I got a little scared. <laughs> so far, no punctuation. Uh, I thought he was messing around and did something to the game, but then I saw Hero O'Brien and he killed me. This was at 3 a.m., and I was terrified. I immediately got off because of how scared I was and no one else was in the game. I made it a private game before I started. Can anyone explain? Now listen. Hero O'Brien does exist. No punctuation. There's a question mark at the end and that's it. Also, every Someone's single one of these questions on had a space before the question mark. Is that in, 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 the, in the title. Yeah, that, that's the picture of Phineas from. Anyway, thoughts on the hero, Brian? Mm. Still not completely sure Someone's as to the gender of this cousin. You. Someone's pulling a prank on you. I think it's this cousin of yours. Because um, it sounds like you no, get no, scared no, no, very No, 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 but Barbara, they made it a private game before they started. Um, and, um... Yes, but they added someone. No, but here's the thing, right? She was being chased by Hero Ryan. Of course, I didn't believe him because I've watched videos on him before, and they're all fake. But it said he was killed by Hero Brian. And then we skip ahead a little. I got, I got a little scared. And then we skip ahead a little more. But then I saw Hero Brian, and he killed me. This was at 3 a.m. It was at 3 a.m. So there's a distinct possibility that because it was at 3 a.m. It's because I was Hero Brian. I think we've solved that mystery. Okay. What what else uh, do you want to talk about? You said you had multiple topics. Well, I, Sean the Sheep and Yahoo Answers. That's two, which is technically multiple. So, Soul. Soul. Hey, guys. Yeah, we can talk about Soul. We just watched Soul for the first time. By the way, this is coming out, I think, uh, February 18th is when I have it scheduled Today for. is the 23rd. The 25th of 5th. January. Ooh. Ah, wrong. It's only the, it's the twenty fifth because it's one a.m. Yes, um, but <laughs> so, um, I liked it a lot. I did too, but there was something I don't know. I it made me want to cry. Um, it's a Pixar especially movie. Especially at that part. It's a Pixar movie. If you didn't ever want to cry, then then it's not a good Pixar movie. Especially at the part um where um we're going a little deep here, where. Oh, uh, spoilers for Soul, by the way. Yes, yeah, sorry, for and Soul. spoilers for Shaun the Sheep, but that's a little late. Yeah, it's fine. Um, um. I mean, Shaun the Sheep is like a six-year-old movie at this point, so it's yeah. So, I just at the part, especially at the part where, um, twenty-two is, um, getting trapped in her own insecurities. Mm. I feel like we all do that a lot, and we need to look to positive. Negative is bad. I'm no, I have no room to talk. But so, yeah. and it's just easy to get trapped in your own bad thoughts. For every bad thought, there's a positive thought. And that's our positive moral lesson for today. No. Do you want to hear what I did last night? What did uh, you do last well, night? Well, I don't care if you do, because you're going to. You're going to. You clicked on the podcast. You can't click away now. You've committed. You're 30 minutes in. Um, I made... I was having a really rough night last night. I kept crying. I... Uh, but, so, we're only one episode in, and we've already established a very common theme. I, you said, so I was crying, or I felt like crying, or I've been crying a lot, at least four times already okay i cry a lot okay i'm a, <laughs> i'm a cry baby i cry all the time like all the freaking time um i cry a lot if you didn't notice uh there was a time in my life where i didn't cry a lot but i cry now a lot so like from like 11 no 11 to 12 so just those two years. <laughs> just those two years. So for the, the I mean, I've always been a pretty big crybaby though. Fair. Um, but I don't know. I just anyway. So really last night you had a hard night. You were crying last night. I was night. crying a lot. Um, I don't know. I wasn't feeling good. I felt like I was gonna puke. I had a terrible headache. I was crying a lot because I was really upset for no reason. Every little thing would get on me, and I would just cry about it. 
Like, Isaac had to edit a video and couldn't play with the dog, so I cried about that. Um, Mary said no to me, so I cried about that. Um, I know that makes me sound like a brat, but I promise I wasn't trying to be a brat. I was just like, I don't know, I was just, I was just upset, okay? I'm not a brat, I promise. At least I don't think I am. Um, I stubbed my toe last night. But anyways, I was just really, I just needed to do something with my life. I can't just sit around and do nothing. I was crying, I was crying, I was crying. But I needed to do something. So I made cloud dough, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like clay. I told Lillian and my father that I made that, and their both response was, so when you cook it, it becomes cloud bread, and I was like, what the crap is wrong with you guys? That's is it not entirely outrageous. I, I, I'm joking. I made it, and I made it orange, because orange is my favorite color. I don't care what you think. It just it requires cornstarch and conditioner, and it's very nice, and I squish it before bed, and after in the morning and it's really nice and tomorrow we have a snow day because we are in last i checked we were in the 10 to 14 10 plus 10 to 14 plus um i don't know what we're in currently but no still 10 to 14 plus okay good it hasn't gone up but we don't have to do zoom yet tuesday is not for sure a snow day although my mother thinks it will be um but anyways last night I made it, and I don't know, it's just kind of therapeutic. And So, if you make something, if you're feeling upset, and you need something to do, make something. Make a food, make a, a craft, make a, a wallpaper, I don't know, do something. Draw, do something, it's very therapeutic. You just take your mind off of all the stress and anxiety you have, and just be chill. Well, there you go. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to find something that I was going to, uh, that I was going to do here. I just realized that you guys haven't actually seen, like, me in a while. Like, you haven't seen me and what yeah, I look like. Really? It's been a long... It's been a let long me, time. Let me look, though, because I'm... The last video you were physically in, you were in a day out for like a split no, second. No, I wasn't. No, you were at the end there for like a second. Mm. Other than that, it's been the uh, pancake art yeah. back, uh, back a month or two ago. Okay, I, fa I found the thing I was going to show you. Okay. Um, this is a uh, a movie review on Amazon.com. Okay. It's a one star, two star movie review for a movie. Should I tell you the movie or do you want to guess what the movie is? The Emoji Movie. Well, do you want to guess what the movie is? Or should I just tell, tell you beforehand? Tell me, tell me, tell me. This is for the movie Silence of the Lambs. Which What's is that? a... It's a horror movie. And I'm disappointed that Sounds you don't like at one. least have a passing knowledge of it. The, the title is... Not the Kids Movie with Clay Sheep. The review goes... Absolutely horrified. I thought it was a claymation movie with lambs. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused with Sean the Sheep. My three-year-old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I got it confused with Sean the Sheep. My three-year-old hasn't said anything since watching this. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Oh, I would. T I promised my mother I would turn off the heat. Um. Before I go to bed, because she said. I turn it off because I'm going to bed and I know that no one's going to turn it off. And I'm like, well, I'll turn it off for you because it's cold in uh, um, here and I don't want to get a blanket. But it was still cold. I had to get a blanket. I'm actually wearing one right now. Do you... I'm going to read another one. Do you want... I'm, I Actually, I do want you to guess what movie this is. The Emoji Movie. Well, just just guess, okay? Shaun the Sheep. No, after I read the review. It's a five-star review of this film, by the way. Oh, okay. On Amazon.com. Uh, I have an aggressive niece who likes to pick fights at her elementary school, and she even bit one of her classmates last <laughs> August. <laughs> As punishment, she had to watch this, and she hasn't even raised a fist since. 
Rocky. It is the emoji movie. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Why? I don't know. It's, it's a five star review of the emoji movie. Okay. Just finding these on a list online. Um. Here, okay. Here, here's one. I want, I want you to guess what movie this is. I don't think you will. But okay. I, this is the last one. I swear. Okay. Okay. This is just a rabbit hole that I've fallen down. One star review. I am mad at my boyfriend for making me watch this. And that's the title, and then the text, the actual text of the review says, I might leave him. Care to guess what film? Not the Emoji Movie this time. I don't know. It is Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. I, oh, I watched the first one, and I was like, I want a moped. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I know I said that's the last one, but I scrolled down a little bit. This is a review for the movie Pan's Labyrinth. Um, okay. You don't even need to have a passing knowledge of that movie to know that this is an absolutely bizarre review. It just says, foreign language, <laughs> that's spelled F-O-R-I-N-L-A-N-G-A-G-E. <laughs> foreign language. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. You have you have one last topic you want to go over? Um before you end this? Maybe. I know that I don't seem terrible, but a big part is that you see me when I'm tired because I can't like stop moving. No. The um, whole time she was talking about Sean the sheep, she was rocking back and forth in her chair. Like, I always make she I also make weird faces when I'm tired. If she was in the chair that I'm sitting in, which is by the way a very loud chair. It would uh, be it would be squeaking so hard you wouldn't hear what she's saying. She was moving that much. Um. Oh, let's talk real quick. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can um, do. I'm just gonna brag a little bit. Oh, she's gonna brag. I'm gonna brag a little bit. So I, we have every our school. Okay, our. <sighs> oh boy. Our school. We have. She's got to think about how to phrase this so that I don't cut it out for revealing too much information. Our school, we have, like, uh, at the end of every quarter and semester, we have an award ceremony, in quotation marks. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. We get, like, certificates. The principal for forgot to sh sign mine, but whatever. I hunted she her down. She sign two of mine, but it's fine. Um, I, I, went, I got them signed eventually. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I know it. Never mind. It, they won't appreciate it. Um... <laughs> So, I was the only one in our school to get on all A honor roll for the semester. That's a, This is a middle school and high school, by the way. And Well, but school. just out of the middle school yeah. and high school, you're the only one. Mm-hmm. For the whole semester. Bam. Get that. I got A, B, so you can be proud of me, too. Both semesters, I'm I got all A, B. A. And I got, I've got all A for both semesters. Well, both semesters? There's only both been one semesters. semester. There's only been one semester. Did I say both yeah. semesters? I meant both quarters. Me too. I got all A for um both quarters. Um and I got all A for the semester, so Hey, that's neat. And I got superior attendance. That just means that I haven't missed a day of school. Right? No. There's the excellent and then superior excellent is like you've missed less than three days. And I think that superior is like less than a week or something like that. I got no. I got the the lesser award. What? No, superior is the better award. Is it? Because superior is a better word than excellent. Oh, well, I, well, I, I don't know. I mean, if you break it down, excellent is like, wow, that is so good. And superior is like, I mean, yeah, you're better than. Exactly. Them. But you're not, you know. So I think excellent. I think that I superior know. is like you miss a day, and I think um, excellent is you miss three or more. Okay, I don't know. Look, I all I know is that they handed out two awards, and I got the second one. So. I got a superior. Attendance. I honestly, I could like try and hunt down my certificate. I don't know. We can try that another time. <sighs> Stop playing with those. You're gonna make the. Sorry. She playing with nail clippers. The microphone is gonna absolutely lose it. My back hurts. Um. Oh, I do basketball. Okay, and we okay. had three games last week. All right. Three whole ones. I'm so worn out by this fact. <laughs> Tell me about it, Barbara. We're supposed to have one tomorrow. 
but thank goodness school was canceled. Because <laughs> I would not be able to do crap in that game. Oh, so I tired. tell ya. I'm so tired. And my shins are so bad. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, but whenever I run, it feels like there's little tiny daggers going in my legs. Um, and then my feet hurt all the time. They need, like, a massage, but... Can we, can we talk for just a split second, and then we'll probably end after this, uh, about WandaVision? <gasps> oh my We are gosh. only three... As of the time of recording this, we are only three episodes into WandaVision, um, the Disney Plus original series. There will be spoilers for the first three episodes if you're one of the people who's waiting for the whole show to come out and you're gonna binge it. Turn it off now. Um, there's probably a time stamp in the description of the YouTube video. Or you can just put one on the screen. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do any editing for the actual, like, video element of it. Um, you're not gonna put, like, a logo on the screen? Well, I'm gonna put a logo on the screen. Oh, okay. But other than that, you know. Because the idea, but the idea for me is like it's a podcast, so you should be able to not look at the screen and still get the full effect, right? Anyway, so WandaVision. Um, we're three episodes in. Barbara, do you care to tell them what your favorite part of WandaVision is? And this makes me I laugh a little bit. The, um, they're like a, such a cute little couple. It's so cute. They're like old ladies. Not old ladies. Old people. Old people are so cute. Well, but because it, it's like the 50s. She, yeah. She's talking specifically about the first two episodes. In the third episode, it gets a little more surreal. A little more it's intense. Weird. It's um, kind of scary. And, you know. It's kind of like a horror movie. Myself, I quite like the third episode. But Barbara, scary. I'm thinking, Barbara, that you should just watch more 50s and 60s sitcoms. Just in general. They're so cute. I'm thinking that's a, a subgenre of television that you would quite enjoy. Well, like, that Beehive Man actually haunts me in my dream. <laughs> Just kidding, it doesn't actually. I had a dream. Uh, I had a dream the other night. I don't remember when this was. It would have been probably a while ago. But it was so vivid that I genuinely thought it was real until, like, a couple like a couple hours ago. And care to guess what that dream was about? Hmm. It was about a new Animal Crossing update. Wow. Animal Crossing is the one thing that have got my dreams vivid enough to make me think that they are real. You know what I think would be weird? Putting ketchup in your socks. What? I just thought about that. And okay, I well, uh, with that, we're going to end um, the podcast well, also, today. Also, I had a dream. Okay, never mind. She's going to talk about a dream first. Uh, the other day, my fr- I was at my friend's house, and I had a dream that her mom called us to wake up, and she was like, we're going to go... Uh, I don't remember where we were going, but we were going to go somewhere, and she's like, we gotta go, and her little brother was jumping on us, Mm -hmm. and I'm like, get off me, I'll punch you. Oh, have I mentioned she's violent? Just kidding, I only kicked him, in real life. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, he's quite, he's, he's just wrestling, so he's quite the little boy but he likes to barge into all of our things but it's fun we we fight him a lot yeah and um my friend stole his money yeah that's mean she gave it back oh okay um anyways is that is that the end of that because um, we, we've made it don't we've put made it through a full socks. 45 minutes don't put mustard in your socks. Oh, either. definitely don't that do that. Smell bad. Yeah. Um. Can you imagine the mustard smell mixed with the smelly, smelly feet smell. Ooh. Man, um, that would not be good. Just keep your socks dry. I'm just, on your I'm feet. just imagining waking up in the morning and being like, man, you know what I need this morning? I need a good ketchup massage on my toes, and so I just dump some ketchup and some mustard <gasps> in my socks and put them on. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good stuff. You know and then I start just walking around the house and I feel the ketchup squeeze between my toes <laughs> and seep into the pores on the bottom of my no. feet. It'll wash away but the calluses. You know, you know what? You know what? Um, really is disgusting and scary. <laughs> People who walk around with wet socks. Hey, yikes. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's. I think, I think that's all. Laughs at me a lot. G- yeah. Be me. I, th- I think that's it for this podcast. Hmm. I love my dog. My my dog is uh, sleeping in a kennel right behind us. Stop playing with my tripod. Sorry. Anyway. You take wild things I play with. Yeah, because they're loud in front of the microphone. 
Um, thank you for listening to our podcast. We're gonna do it's every month that we do this. And now I get to go to bed. And now she gets to go to bed. Finally, but it was a fun time for a long, long day. It's so, a fun time. Yeah, tune in next week. Actually, this day's only been going for about like two hours, three hours. Three hours, two hours. Almost three. Almost three. Okay, it's about two a.m. in it. Okay, I'm I'm trying to think of a good uh, good uh, sign off line. Don't put ketchups in your socks. That's been your little bit of Lucy. And then that's I'm gonna play the outro theme. That's a that's a little bit of microscopic piece of me there. My mind. My mind's a scary place. I guess you'll find out as you watch more episodes or listen to them. Um, if you wanna watch a blank screen, that's kinda weird, but I mean go for it. Anyways. That's the show goodbye. No, I don't think that's great. It's very bad. Okay, bye. <laughs>